What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel Mystic Watch and today we got a brand new video for you. We're gonna be going over the new JP update that's coming out tomorrow. It is absolutely massive. The amount of stuff we're getting and the thing is majority of the things are QOL updates. So even if you're a global player it might still interest you uh, to take a look at some of these QOL updates. Now as usual I'm on gcdatabase.com. Uh, if you ever want to take a look at the JP or Korean side of things the link is always down below, and then you can also follow any of the other social media from here. Now, before I get started, I'm going to go back to being sellout watch for a second and let you guys know that there's a good chance that I'm streaming today uh, on Twitch. I try to stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then an extra day if I can on the weekend. We are currently at almost 2,000 followers. You guys have been absolutely insane. If we can get this to 2,000, it would mean a lot. We have 52 subs right now as well. And I'm getting a bunch of emotes made and they're, they're all looking funny for now. Besides that, thank you so much for the support. We're going to go back to the update. Also, PS, click on my Bluestacks link. Download Bluestacks if you want to play on PC. It'll help me out. Look at these outfits. Woo! Except for that Gloxinia one. That is a trap and a half if I had to say so. Okay. But I really dig the uh, all the other ones. And look at the new OC character! Let's go! Okay. So, this is Roxy. How does this look? I just like the music they use. Oh! Oh, okay. Now I'm wondering if they're ever going to do Fate Links with these units. There hasn't been a single um, OC unit, original character unit, that has a Fate Link. And this should be our sixth original unit. We've gotten Lilia, Valenti Lilia. And then, what order or did it go? Was it Mono and Easton? And then now Roxy? Am I missing someone? I don't know, I think it's six. Okay, so Lunatic Destroyer, Queen of Explosion, Roxy. These are her level 3 moves. Magma Swing inflicts explode, uh, explode damage to equal to 200%. AoE, then explodes after one turn. Now, we have a skill like this already, and it's a, we have the exact same skill, and it's on King. This Red King. So... This is what the move actually looks like. Now, the, the thing is, with King, this move is absolute garbage. So, I'm wondering how they're going to compensate for that, because I'm sure they know that this move is not that good. It, it does, like, no damage whatsoever. Like, I have... I'll give my King, like, UR gear, and he still just barely, barely does any damage on it. So, Explosion is, it deals an additional 100% of the damage dealt, after X turns. And X turns is usually... Well, one turn here. Uh, so it starts off two turns, and then it goes down to one turn, one turn. Not bad. Skill 2, Magma Break. Cancels buffs and stances on one enemy and inflicts 400% attack. Uh, 400% on a level 3 is kind of low. That means that the move is probably like... 220 or something, or like 200%. Does only damage level 1, 220%, breaks, the uh, cancels buffs and stances, and then uh, 400%. Or, I don't I don't know if this is the... No, I believe this is the same move as Elizabeth. Yeah, it's, it's going to be this move right here. It's going to be removes buffs, 220%, removes buffs, 300%, and then cancels buffs and stances, 400%. That should be the exact move. Ultimate Volcano Ash, we just saw before, 700% attack on one enemy. That is a really, really high base multiplier. Builds ultimate move gauge by two orbs. I don't believe we have this yet, correct me if I'm wrong, but, well, we do have it off of um, Elizabeth, but Elizabeth only does, well, she does AoE, but it, she heals. So this is 700%, fill your own gauge by two, Meaning that you only need three more orbs after it to actually pop off again. And it's not uh, uncommon to um, use an ultimate and then follow up with two moves of the same unit. 
So realistically, you could actually get back to four bars on the next turn, which is sick. Now the passive, which is where everything kind of comes together, the hero deals damage to enemies with the additional damage from explosion, recovers 30% max HP, and fills ultimate gauge by one. This is how they're compensating for this move being garbage, is it's still going to be garbage, but she is going to be an ultimate rush fanatic. She's going to get her ultimate by spamming this move non-stop. So you do it, uh, ideally you do a level 2, you know, it pops, you gain an ultimate gauge orb. The thing is, you cannot stack them, right? Like, the buff doesn't, because it's a debuff on the enemy, and it doesn't, like, refresh. Like, you can't have multiple of these debuffs on, on the enemy, at least as of, as of right now. I'm, I don't think they changed it, but as of right now, you cannot stack it multiple times. If you could, this becomes insanely broken. But, it's still, it's still pretty good. 30% max HP means that there's a decent chance you run her HP defense and you just rush her ult. Because she doesn't do that much damage off of these moves. That's what I'm thinking. And her ultimate has a very high scaling, so it looks like it's going to kill either way. Now, it's a step up banner, uh, just like all the other original units. You go 10 steps, you know, you get the stuff on the way, and then Lilia and Valenti will be featured on the banner as well. Here's how it breaks down, one gem on the second, one uh, one gem on the seventh, for a total of 242, guaranteed her on the final step. Mileage reward stuff, here are outfits, not bad. These are Flower Academy, the Esterosa and Derriere outfits, I'll probably pick them up for gems. Then we have a Flower Academy Roulette event. This is going to be another event where you get tickets by doing whatever they ask you to do. And then you'll be able to clear, you know, with, with the tickets that you get every day, you'll be able to clear everything from here. And that means you'll be able to get a full set of UR outfits for each of Monspeed, Galland, and Gloxinia. And that's cool. That is 100% cool, and I hope they do this more often. And this is exactly where you can get the tickets from. And here are the full list. Roulette Rewards List Special. Why does it say special? Is special just uh, the top row? Oh, special row. Oh, okay, it's just the costume. I was like, do I have to buy this? Did I just say good things and then get lied to? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Hawk Pass. We're getting another Hawk Pass as usual. It'll be $8, $9, whatever it is. And it is going to be great value. We are getting, even if you don't buy it, you get three SSR pendants and a, and a part two ticket. If you do buy it, you get another two part two tickets. Five, seven hammers, any more hammers? Seven, ten hammers, anvils, 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 anvils. It looks like, I don't know, some 25 anvils, demon's blood, yada yada. No, it's probably like 50 anvils. It's pretty good. Two, two GSSR tickets, part two for eight bucks pretty much, and other goodies that you can get. New adventure pack, don't care. It's just SR materials. Looks like it's three, four bucks. Now, these are the new decorations. The only one that stood out to me is Spool Counter. Get one more free training cave crystal refresh. I want to know how that works. I 100% want to know how that works. Uh, the school door doesn't seem bad. Increases gold earned in SP dungeon by 10%, but but at the same time, there's already one that gives you 30, uh, 10% more increase in rewards, which is just better in my opinion. Besides that, everything else just looks okay, nothing too crazy. Yeah. Bogo stuff is back, no one cares. Uh, new battle event. Yeah, rewards, there you go. <clears throat> here, here are the system improvements that I was talking about earlier. Well, one, Roxy gets her UR gear. Increase animation speed when upgrading gear, thank you. Setting for continuous power-up, this is nothing spectacular. It's just some nice uh, QOL. Custom upgrade material drop rate changes. First of all, Extreme will now... 
voice. Extreme will now get upgrade materials in gold chest drops. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is amazing. It means that you don't have to do hell. And you can actually just upgrade your costumes, outfits, cosmetics, whatever, naturally. Now, they, regardless, they buff the hell difficulty drop rate to 8%. That's a lot. Thank you. 8% is a decent amount. Push it to 10%, not marble. Thank you. Added the screen to check for the current use of buff. Cur you can get a buff for overall CC, and these are the, the mile point breakdowns. They don't stack, so whatever your CC is at, that's what you're going to get. Realistically, uh, 2 mil is kind of where everyone could get to easily, and then pushing to 3 mil is like, okay, you're in a really good spot, and then the biggest and biggest of whales will have to be, you know, end up 4 million. But I think 3 million is kind of the goal for everyone. So if you are at 3 million, you will get 9% increase in HP. That is nuts. Now, this buff only applies to battle contents. So I'm pretty sure this means no PvP. No PvP. I don't know. Someone can confirm it for me. But I will double check for this. And if I find out, I will uh, pin it down below for clarification. This buff does not change the account CC, but it's not like you can get it to then stack it even higher. The buff will affect team CC. Okay. Buff does not stack, yada yada, and this is just an explanation of how it works. Gear, gacha, auto summon, and salvage system. This one is massive and honestly could possibly be the biggest thing out of this upgrade. You can set... You can set auto on the gear summons and you can have it salvage everything you can have it salvage everything you know how massive this is you get like a hundred million gold 200 million uh, 300 million gold and you just go forever this is insane the day we get this on global it's also going to be extremely massive yeah 100 percent. 100 percent. it's going to be Huge. 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 I cannot wait for this. Pretty much what this is going to do is you can set which materials you want to salvage, which rarities, um, and then gold or keys first, use them all unlimited amount of times or a specified set of runs. This is similar to how uh, you know you upgrade your gear where you can set like anvils first or something like that. Whatever. I uh, pretty much explained everything. Achievements and title system. This has been in the game for a while, but added the screen to check for the current uh, check for the current in-use buff effect. Adding the achievement menu and challenge mission. Added an achievement for Visal PvP. Change condition for certain achievements. Before you can only get the title if you have the exact amount of items and gold. After you can put possessing more than stated equipment. Okay. These are the titles. Without translations on them, it's not that helpful, but you can pick one of them and they just do something. I would need to, to double check what the translations are. Changes to recommended friends. You will not get recommended friends on the friends list if you have maxed out friends. Okay. Uh, jukebox thing is random. This one's a nice one. After clearing chapter 7 of the main story, Veronica's buff will be applied permanently. So it's just uh, another convenience thing. You don't have to worry about inviting her, giving her food or something, and then doing like that. Seven Disasters Lilia Raid. Extended to the end of the month. Thank you. You're now able to have a preset team for each attribute of the raid. Also, thank you. This makes my life so much easier. Bug fixes, other things. Uh, not that important. Now... Changes to gift items when buying a costume set. If you own one part of a costume, you will be gifted the following. 7 diamonds per owned piece, if you already have the outfit, um, stuff, oh, okay, whatever. Reward changes, the rewards for Knighthood boss will be changed. This is nice, because currently, it's you get top 0%, and that's it, right? It didn't matter if you were rank 4, rank 100, rank 150, rank 70, you got the same exact reward of the 600, whatever, you know. Whatever the, the 600 guild coins are. 
Now, top 100 actually gets something. If you are above 50, you get further rewards. If you're 4 to 20, you will get 800 coins. And this is going to most likely come over to global as well. 800 does make a difference. Now, getting an additional 200 means you can get almost an, a third uh, a third SSR pendant for that week just off the coins. Uh, if you donated, you know, 100 materials that week, that's three SSR pendants plus the one that you get for achieving the, the meter or whatever. That's four just from Guild Boss every single week. That's a lot. Ending a regular gacha uh, on JP when they transitioned from uh, SSR tickets to Part 1 and Part 2 tickets, they said that at the end of April, they will remove all those... Uh, banners so make sure you spend all your original tickets before they leave that's it that's gonna be it for now hopefully you guys enjoyed the video a lot of stuff a lot of stuff um, I'm really enjoying what they're doing with Grand Cross I hope a decent amount of this stuff comes out on global so we can actually get it there as well but look forward to some summon videos some fun stuff some new events and I'll see you all next time peace out